All right, we live. Okay, Leo, listener, before we even get into this, like before we even say anything, it's like 9.51, it's Sunday today, happy Sunday, whatever, rambling rogue show, you... Before we even get into this, though, I just want to say that I get the most fucking anxiety. <laughs> like, I literally get so much anxiety before we start any of these episodes, and I just want to thank you again. Um, you know, if you're actually listening and if you're actually been tuning in week by week, because it's like... Just for me to even click record, it's hard for me. So I bet that just to even click play, it's hard for you. I, I'm just joking, but I'm just saying. Yeah, you know what I mean? Anyway. Let's play. to you guys from the Silly Songs EP or tape or whatever you want to call it, Silly Songs Volume 1, you know what I'm saying, that's on SoundCloud right now, you guys can actually go out and get that, that's Silly Songs Volume 1, Jires Rogue, new music, how to bump that, shameless bump, you know what I'm saying, shameless promo, it's my podcast, gotta, gotta promote myself, anyway, <laughs> Hello, friendly listener. You are now tuned in to the Rambling Rogue Show. I am your host, Rambling Rogue, a.k.a. Gyres Rogue. Um, usually that intro was right there, dead smack in the middle, but this week was a little bit different. I had to get that little warning off, or that little saying off, that little comment off, and, uh, you know, I also had to play my song, you know? New music by Gyres Rogue is out for the third time. <laughs> Can't stop talking about it. That's actually why this podcast is so late. So, um, yeah, I'm recording this on Sunday, Sunday morning, because, uh, yeah, man, that, that, uh, those three songs there, they were actually just put together probably like two, maybe three days ago. Um, like, yeah, like Friday. So, and, um, I mean, it's not even Sunday. What the fuck? It's Monday. Monday. Yeah. We, you, if you were watching the video, you just saw us take a dab. That's the level we're on right now. It's the Rambling Rogue Show, you know what I'm saying? Give a hand, give a hand for your, to yourself. I'm just like, slam. <laughs> slam my words all over the place. Give a hand to yourself. All right, that was really nice, but give a hand to yourself. And um, you know what I'm saying? We live in life, you know? Your friendly host is feeling good. Uh, it is Monday, excuse me again. But um, we're recording this a day late just because we had to put out those songs. And, um, you know, the the idea for them coming together was just... The mixtape Linda EP is done. It's pretty much done. It's over with. I don't really have much more to say um, on that one. But uh, what I will say is this. I will say that I just don't want to put it out yet. Just because I'm just not comfortable with the timing. And just because if I'm just 100%... I do want some visuals to go with that record, you know? So, um, and I think that'll take some time, and I think that'll take some farming, but I don't want it to be that I don't have any music out. So, uh, you know, I'll probably 
just be doing more silly songs and just more just dumbass shit, you know? Like, until I have something actually serious to say. You know what I'm saying? Because I got, I got something I want to say at some point, I think. But just right now, I just want to just have fun. You know what I'm saying? So, Silly Songs Volume 1, that's what that's for. Lindy EP has been stowed away. And, uh, you know, you'll get it soon, Lindy EP. You'll get it soon. Friendly listener, but you know, it's just for now the uh, the the timing just isn't it just it's not right for me I don't really have much to talk about actually this week. Um I think the exact same though. I already brought up one of the things I wanted to talk about with the tape I only had a few other things. I mean So yeah this week though besides that tape and besides just trying to f so basically um, I don't know if I let this be known on the podcast, but last week I finished the tape. And I think, yeah, I think I did say this. But last week I did end up finishing the tape. And, um, you know, in listening back to it, that's when I decided, you know, what to do with this new set of music, these silly songs. And so, basically, uh, you know, aside from that, this week I've also started work. You know what I'm saying? So, FedEx, working a factory job, um, fuck, eh, it doesn't matter that I said FedEx, fuck it, I don't care, um, but nah, I mean, it's like, literally, there could be any fucking FedEx, but, you know what I'm saying, we working at FedEx, you know what I'm saying, we package handling, you know what I'm saying, and, um, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a different job than what we've experienced before. It's going to be a tad bit more money. So I'm just going to be honest with you, viewer. What that means is, is that the content is actually just going to get onto a higher quality. Because right now, I'm running with my $200 Asus that really can't process much of anything. And to be honest, whenever... I mean, and it crashes too. And, and to be honest, it's just so disheartening whenever this thing just, you know, malperforms. And I'm trying to get it to do so many things. So I'm kind of biting my steak off in pieces now and I'm focusing really more on music because that's something that this thing can handle and I'm focusing and just on the podcast and then as well as actually just saving and stowing some cash up I'll upgrade my system over here and then we'll end up probably not even probably fuck a probably we'll end up making higher quality content you know, if you're here for the ride for that, I mean, I, I really honestly commend you. You found a YouTuber right at his beginning. And um, here's a guy who's making a lot of content for you, too. So it's like, you really lucked out there, listener. You really lucked out. I, you know what? Okay, that, that was supposed to do something. That, that was... That's up to you. <laughs> nah, but, uh... I'm corny. Nah. Silly Songs Volume 3. Yeah, FedEx packet handling job. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to be squatting and lifting and whatnot. And um, if you're listening to this, I would love some opinions on, like, you know, just how it is as a person in the workplace nowadays. You know what I'm saying? Um, I just want to know what it's like for you at your job. When it comes to coming up to people of the opposite sex, coming up to people that may be trans, when it comes to working with people that may, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, what's it like for y'all? Because if you're a female, what's it like working with males now? You know, you're around males, especially if you're a person who hasn't been around many, like, males. Like, what I find is, is, like, a lot of people actually come up like me, for example, like I basically have come up with just males my entire life, right? Like, I don't think I've ever really lived with a female other than like a parent, right? Yeah, no, I've never lived with a female. And then in that time, most of my friends were just males. It's just been a very male life. And I can assume that for females as well, this can happen as well for a lot of females. You know, a lot of your life, it's just you're literally only surrounded by females. Sometimes, yes, you are surrounded. You are around men, school, things like that, social events. But, you know, just inside the house, just inside comfortable areas, most of your memories, most of the times, it's just 
You know what I'm saying? It can be like that. And um, and my life just happened to be like that, but with with my gender, right? So coming to work, it can be a slight shock, is what I'm saying. Because it's like you, especially when you come to work in a place where it's like it's a bunch of people like around your age group. You know what I'm saying? At least for me, like. Because it's just, I'm not going to college, right? I'm not going to school. So maybe maybe it would be less of a shock if I was going to school. I guess maybe I wouldn't even have a shock. Maybe school would just, you know, like actually like just give me that whole like, I guess that, uh, that crash course with people. But it's like, when you're around people, you got respectfully, yet you know what everybody's thinking. You know, it's like, most people are sexual beings. And when you just, and, and roll with me here, listener, roll with me, right? Because I am a little stoned. But most people are sexual beings. And honestly, honestly, if we're just being honest, in all the advice that I've ever been given by older people, right? They always tell you that people judge you for, yes, your race, but usually the second thing they ever tell you that people are judging you on or about or in the range of, it's your sexual presence. At least for me, right? It would be like, okay, yeah, um, my, my dad will tell me that, you know, racist exists, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But then the next thing that he'll tell me that, that people will notice about me, so, so now he's done talking about my skin, the color of my skin, and what it means in this country. The next thing that we'll talk about, right, like, where, when he speaks of something that, like, people notice about me, it's obviously how, because of, it's, it's, a, it's how girls see me, because, I mean, of course, and, he, and I say only girls because, I mean, for him, it wouldn't even be an option that I would be gay, but, even though I'm not, but I'm just saying, you know, he's just a different breed, but, uh, I say that like it's like, what am I saying? You go into work and you kind of just know that everybody's having these thoughts. And so I just kind of think about just like, I don't, I don't know. It's just, just the, the awkwardness sometimes that can arise within the workplace. I just, I'm just thinking about it, you know, because it's like, okay, I'm beating around the bush. Basically... My, uh, my orientation, my orientation was this actual, like, teacher-student setup thing, and I guess it's a new system over there. And before I actually go in, I just want to remind everybody that this show really is just voice filler, okay? Um, when I have interviews and guests on... Of course, it's more than that. It's something more informational. It's something more, you know what I mean? But for the main part, this show is just so that you guys can have a nice voice filler, some stories to hear, some lingo, you know what I'm saying? Just listen to me vent, you know? That, that's, really, that's really what the Ramley Rogue Show is for. And I appreciate you again for even tuning in. Because if you're aware of that and you're still here, you're a pretty great fucking person. Anyway, my orientation is this teacher-student setting where it's a teacher and it's supposed to be a class of about 5 to 10 to about 15, but rather my class is actually a, an orientation class of three. So I go for about three days to this class, right? That's, that's what I'm supposed to go to. And... It is war. Damn it, man. My teacher is hot as hell. She's this 26-year-old server waitress, right? Who, if you, if you picture a hot 26-year-old, like, waitress at, like, let's say, like, let's say, like, and she's Asian. And let's say like, um, 
mm, BJ's. Right? Or let's say like, uh, mm, not even BJ's. Let's say like, because uh, I don't want to say where she works. Let's say uh, uh, King's Crab or whatever. Right? King's Crab. Let's say, uh, what the, I'm stoned as hell. Let's say um, Red Lobster. So you picture like a hot Asian chick working at Red Lobster. Alright. Hold up. Okay. We are back and I realized that I totally did not do a clap for the first portion of uh, this speaking. So like the first 15 minutes there may be some ridiculous audio, may even just be camera audio. Um, so yeah. Anyway, actually, yeah, that's probably just what's gonna happen. This shit is stereo. Fuck you. Anyway, a picture a hot twenty six year old server waitress, fit body, about like you know what I'm saying, like short ish, but not like like not too short. She's above five feet. You know what I'm saying. Just really just very, very cute, right? And then you got a queen, you know what I'm saying? A 20-year-old, you know what I'm saying? Black chick, you know, natural hair. And the first time I saw her, too, when she came to the interview, she actually came, like, really dressed up. Well, I mean, in, in my eyes. She came, you know, she had her feet out, you know what I'm saying? Like, shit. If you know anything about Jai's Rug, your host... Got a slight foot fetish. Sex is okay to talk about here on the Rambling Rogue Show as well. Just throwing that out there. But anyway, yeah. Jesus. And then you got another just, just, just. So then, okay. You got the 26-year-old teacher. And then my uh, peer is a 20-year-old. You know what I'm saying? Uh, How would you describe her? Like, uh. She was like maybe kind of taller, maybe like around five nine ish, five eight. You know what I'm saying? But definitely, she had a nice body. You know, and like it's kind of weird to describe people now that I'm being recorded. I'm not gonna lie. Like it's like it's kind of like I don't want to be too raunchy, but at the same time, I do want to give her like the benefit of her beauty. Um, she, uh, but, but just basically just imagine two beautiful chicks, right? And then I'm just sitting here in the room and I'm like, you know, this is just too intimate a situation and I have to look too into your eyes and like too, for nobody to be thinking that. And, and not that that should be brought up. I guess that's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying, it's just weird. Like, it's just like a, it's just a thing to get used to, I guess. It's just like, we all here for work, but we're all thinking about, like, our bodies and, like, the way we look and the way we're sitting and the way we're lo and breathing and, like, it, it was like, because, like, we were in a very small room because it wasn't just us three. It was one other dude, right? So it was about four people in the room. But then on the last day, it was literally just us three. And then, I mean, again, it's like, you, you can't tell me you're not just, just, oh, just thinking about that shit. It's just weird. I don't know. Maybe everybody else is thinking about their money. And again, 19 year old virgin. You know what I'm saying? Jai's Rogue. We live in the life that not celibate, but I'm ugly life. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's rambling rogue show. We rambling on and on and and, and 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 we're just talking about workplace awkwardness and we're talking about feelings. Um do we got anything else to say here? No yeah. Any music I've been listening to this week? Well, of course, my own mixtape, Free Mike Demon. You know what I'm saying? Y'all better go check that out. Uh, just go to SoundCloud, Free Mike 
M I K E Demon, all one word. Jires Rogue, G I R E S R O W G H. Um, pretty much, you know, we've I've been listening to my own music this week. I haven't really been listening to much other stuff. Uh, is there anything I want to comment on this week? Like, I don't know. I was gonna make this show a much more like you know, just commentative type of show. But to be honest, I want to do another podcast totally separate from this show, you know, with other people, you know, that would be that kind of show where we kind of just bring things up that, that happen like in hip hop or just in general that, you know, just things that we just care about, you know, this show, I just want it to be just all rambles and anybody else that I want to come ramble with me. Hey, I mean, shit, come on. You know what I'm saying? It's the Rambling Rogue Show. Like, we just literally just chilling here, saying whatever, doing whatever. Um, I just want to point out that I definitely love people. And, um, yeah, no, my orientation, it gave me that, it gave me that awkward feel. But the rest of it, you know, it was pretty cool, man. You know, it was like, I got to just see what I was doing. The work that I'm going to be doing is actually in my kind of experience like in my eyes like it's kind of fun in a way just because it's like it just makes me think but it's definitely got it's already got my spine kind of feeling away because i've been lifting boxes and i'm not gonna lie i've been feeling like my shit's just gonna fall out like my spine is like misaligned or some shit like i gotta go see a fucking chiropractor i'm pretty sure i'm just sore because i had a nice night's sleep last night and you know i woke up and i was feeling much better but Yesterday, man, I was, it felt like, it it literally felt like my spine was taken and it was like, it was making this force on my chest to go into a V shape with my spine. So like, if you're looking at me, you do this. It was literally like my spine was in a feeling of that all day. So like, if you do this, right? Like if you just kind of stretch your arms all the way back and you kind of just, just pull, you know, that feeling there, like if I was just standing straight, it would just be on, like, it would feel like that on my spine. But, um, you know, I woke up this morning and I was like, you know, if, if I feel that today, I'm probably going to have to go see the chiropractor. Like, but no, nah, I mean, I'm feeling all right now. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I could actually sit I'm chilling. So I think I just needed a better night's sleep or something. I don't know. But, um, got like eight hours last night. But, uh, still a yay fan. I'm not quite agreeing. Not even quite. Fuck a lot of what he's saying. And honestly, a lot of what he's doing, a lot of what he did was honestly just promo, but I'm still going to listen to the music. I'm still going to listen to the music. Because that lift yourself, I mean, that beat is just, come on, man. That's just, that's just enchanting. That was just enchanting. Straight enchanting. Okay. I don't want to hear anything else but. Like, that shit was just... Come on. I mean, just... Anybody saying that they that, that they just hear like that, that lift yourself beat and they don't like it, man. That's just... Sounds like a lot of... It sounds like a lot of... Sounds like a... Real shit. Real shit. <laughs> The Rambler Road Show. Um, I want to start a YouTube show, but I'm scared to, and I also don't know how. And I'm also just, well, I do know how. Well, I don't. I want to do a show where I talk about conspiracy theories that I have. And maybe that's done before. Maybe that's getting done right now. Who cares? But I want to do it. You know, because, like, and if you're listening up to this point, and if you're a hip-hop fan, you know, let me know. Please. If if this is actually, like, a good conspiracy theory. So my first episode, right, for the show that I want to do, my conspiracy theory show, it would be about this. Tentacion made the song I don't even speak Spanish lol as a diss to Drake 
Now, I was going to go into like details of how you saw Drake with another artist who was making, you know, reggaeton music like earlier on in the year and how that was rumored to be on his next record. And then with X dropping before him, you know, that made it so that he could actually just have that record there. And I was going to get into the fact that the title itself is just basically saying, hey, I don't even speak Spanish yet. Here is this guy. Well, I don't even speak Spanish and I'm going to make a song that sells, that kicks ass. That's actually good. And then here is this guy who, you know, is trying so hard not to be a cultural appropriator and not to be called that. And you can tell Drake is because, you know, he does tiptoe these lines, but he tries to do so, so respectfully. He tries to do so with like race, you know, when he goes from Memphis to, to the six, to Houston, to the, the Atlanta sound, to, oh, not exactly YG and them, to now, you know what I'm saying? Like, when he does that, little baby, when he does that, I feel like, you know, it just kind of, for X, right, to be able to say, I don't even speak Spanish, LOL, I feel like he's saying, here I go, I could just do this song, and people aren't even going to give a fuck, and you're doing all that shit. And you got to like stunt and parade and do all this and that. And it's like, I was going to go into all that shit, you know? And you might say that I'm reaching, right? But that's just it. The show is called Rogue Reach. So at the end of the show, I was going to end it with a tagline that says something like, you know, you may think, you may think that that was really smart. Or you may think that my sativa's really, you know, gotten to me. Because I will probably be stoned or have, you know, weed around me while I'm making it, right? I'll probably say something witty like that. You know, like, something that just says, like, oh, yeah, hey, you may think I'm smart. You may think it's the weed. Whatever it is, let me know in the comments. That's what I was going to do. But, um, you know, I just keep getting scared. And then I just keep just kind of tricking myself into thinking that I don't know how to do it, even though technically speaking, I mean, it's... All I really need to do is a PowerPoint and then just screencast it. But I don't know, man. Anxiety's got me down, man. And the Ramblin' Rogue show seems to be the one thing that I can consistently do, even if I do it late, and I'm sorry for that. But I'm trying for you guys, man. I'm trying for myself. It's the Ramblin' Rogue show, and, and you know, I love just talking. I love just speaking to anybody that'll listen. I appreciate you if you do. Like I always say. Um, so yeah, no. Besides work, we had what else happened this week? I didn't get paid. I'm gonna be getting paid weekly, but I didn't get paid this week, so that sucked. So I'm like on a, like a weird, like, like bum moment. Well, I wouldn't say bum, but I, I'm just on like a broke moment right now. You know, where I'm just kind of like not, not really able to do anything. My wallet's kind of tapped. You know what I'm saying? So, next Friday I'm going to be on though. Next Friday I'm going to be on. But, uh, <laughs> what else? Crush Chronicles. So, Crush Chronicles, uh... Not really much to say there. Haven't seen my crush in a minute. I texted her here and there, but like, like she texted me a long time ago. I mean, she did say she's not interested, so. But I don't know. I think what's keeping me on, though, is the fact that she's a Leo. And so Leos, they fuck with, uh, they fuck with people that ride hard for them. So if I just keep, I don't know, stay tenacious, I mean, of course. I don't want to make it seem like I'm not talking to other chicks, but, you know, for that specific one, it's really on that kind of basis. Kind of sad, actually. Hmm. What else we got? This week has been pretty, uh, honestly, pretty just chill. Other than the work and then the music. 
And besides that, you know, we've just been just living life, man. I don't know when Dreadlock Journey will come back. It will come back, though. And, um, like, that's, that's definite. That's for sure. You know, I, and I'm not going to say that I'll do it forever, but I'll do it in spurts. I'll do it as much as I can. And whenever I feel like I just want to document, um, I'm definitely going to be playing more games because, you know, I think I've actually figured out one of my goals in rap. One of my goals in rap is to just be able to speak my truth. And, and, and I, and I heard, and I, and I was able to like come to this after hearing a great artist, JPEG mafia resonate his goal, right? Which was basically to just have enough money telling his truth, you know, but to have enough money to be able to just live and do things that he would just like to do leisurely. And um, the thing that I'd like to do is just hermit all day inside and just play games and um, and look at things that interest me and shit. Like, I just want to stay inside my bubble. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, at least that's my desire now. I mean, who knows? It might change, but that's what I want out of it, you know? And I'm willing to, to get out there and to do things so that I can get this, but most definitely that's that's i think my goal like i i'm i'm just you know i'm good i'm good with me i'm good with me and i like the internet and i like connections like that you know but that's just me it's about 10 25 here Mm. I think we should call it. It's about 30 minutes. Yeah. Been rambling for a while. Thank you again for tuning in. I'll have this out. You'll probably be blah, blah, probably be listening to this around like Monday night, Tuesday. So again, love you, love you, love you. Love you. And I definitely did not do a clap for that fucking beginning part. I'm so stupid, man. Ah, sheesh. There's a bomb.